How's it going, everybody? Mike here. You know, the other day I had some water pressure problems in the house. The well just was not kicking on. Well, I know roughly that well is about 20 years old. So I took a gander down in the basement to see what I had going on. Um, I come to conclusions that the water pressure switch is just shot and the actual pressure gauge on the side of the tank was shot too. So basically I went down to my local handy hardware store and I picked up myself a universal pressure switch and a brand new pressure gauge. I'm going to install them and show you how I did it. Well, I started off by purchasing a 100 PSI universal water pressure gauge and a universal water pump pressure switch. If you ever want to know what your water pressure is, take your cover off and flip it over and you'll notice that it says on and off pressure. On pressure 30, off pressure 50 is what I'm using. First of all, you want to go over and find your breaker and turn it off. Locate your tank. And on the bottom of every tank, there's usually a water drain valve. So turn it counterclockwise, hook a hose up to it and drain your tank. After all the pressure is relieved, I like to hit the pressure relief valve just to clarify that there's no pressure in there. Then I take a multimeter that's AC capable, and I like to just test to make sure that there's no power still at that switch. Now I stick my hands in there, 220 will bite you. I'm going to start off by removing my pressure gauge using an open end 916 wrench and adjustable pliers. I'm going to slowly take this off and try not to break the tube. Now I know my breaker is shut off and I've tested it, there's no power. So I'm going to disconnect those wires and take everything loose and pull everything out. Using a three quarter inch wrench, I'm going to bust loose the old switch. Try to hold whatever tube or something that it may be attached to so you don't break the tube. Now clean up the pipe, use some Teflon tape going with the threads clockwise. Take your new pressure switch, take the cover off of it, place it on the pipe, turn it clockwise, and make sure you don't cross thread it. Now tighten it up until you start feeling a little bit of resistance. And then you can give it a, about a turn, a turn and a half after that. You don't want to snap your pipe off. Next, I'm going to put a little Teflon tape on the pressure gauge itself. Like I said, going clockwise with the threads. With your 916 open on wrench, tighten it back up. Once you start to feel resistance, just give it a nice tug until you get it to where you can see it. Well, now everything's back together, I'm going to slip the wires back in it and reassemble it the way I took it apart. If you've forgotten how the wires came out, this is a 220 system with two sets of relays. I'm going to take the set of wires on the left, connecting the negative first to the far left pole, and then I'm going to take the positive and put it on the far right pole. Now I'll take the group of wires from the right and I'll mount the positive on the left side. Then I'll take the negative and mount it on the right side. So from left to right, you'll have negative from the left side, positive from the right side, and then you'll have negative from the right side and positive from the left side. Now 
close all your drains, and then go over to your circuit breaker and flip the switch on to hear some water go on, and then shut it right back off. Well, you only want a little bit of water in the system because at this point you need to air it up. I'm going to add about 25 to 30 PSI of air in my system to balance out the water and air. Now at this point I'm going to turn the breaker back on to see if the water pressure hits 50 PSI and shuts off like it's supposed to. Well this new switch just shut off at 60. What I'm going to do now is open up a couple valves and do a bleed down test to see when it actually turns back on. Well, my new water pressure switch seems to be cutting in at 35 PSI and cutting out at 60 PSI. So in order to adjust it, you choose the big spring, which is the main spring adjustment. Turn it clockwise to increase both cut out and cut in pressure. The other spring adjuster is a differential spring. Turn it clockwise to increase cut out pressure without affecting the cut in pressure. It's time to put your cover back on, screw her down, and you're good to go. Well, if you're still not sure about your adjustments, you can always flip the cover over and it explains right there exactly how to do it. If you guys enjoyed that video, hit the like button. Okay, comments, leave them in the comment section. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe. Have a good day. Bye.